Hello everyone and welcome back to another Python programming video. Uh, we're on the Python challenge, we're finally on to challenge number 12, and we were presented with this picture of uh, some guy dealing cards, I think. There isn't any hint at the bottom, there is no scroll bar, so there's no more to this page. Um, I guess by default we do some investigation, so I'm going to view the page source, and uh, it's pretty bare bones. The title of the page is Dealing Evil. Uh, same old CSS file that we've always seen. The only thing we actually see here is this image. The image is called evil1.jpg. Um, well, uh, instinctively I want to kind of research if there is a evil module in Python. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why there would be. I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, I mean, I see... Python is not Java. <laughs> Bad ideas for Python, but no documentation for a module. So I don't think that is the case. Um, in the last couple of videos and tutorials, we were looking at the image itself, and I think I do see some, like, lines through it. Maybe it is... Let's save the image. I'll put it on my desktop, and uh, we'll take a gander at it. Now, if I open this in Paint... See if we get anything. So there's our image. And I see like a pattern of stuff. You can see all these kind of blocks and things here. Different colors. It looks like kind of a filter though, because it, it changes with each color. Like whatever the, the color is behind it. See? Like oh, this is all red. This is all. don't think there would be like any messages hidden in the text or messages that we have to work with through the pixels like we've been doing in the, in the other tutorials and the other challenges. Because there's just no way that like this color over and over and over again, especially in the black zone, because see, this is all black. There's nothing that we can really get from this, I don't think. Remove this. Dealing evil. Pretty much our only hint. The title of the page. I see pictures, cards. Let's see the source one more time. Dealing evil style CSS. Image source equals evil one dot jpeg. Let's go there in our URL. Evil, evil one dot jpeg. Yeah, same image. Six forty by four eighty, I think. Who's to say there isn't an an evil like two evil two dot jpeg? Oh, oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> Not jpeg hyphen hyphen dot gfx. What does that mean? Dot .gfx, not jpeg. Okay, maybe it's evil2.gfx. Oh, yep, that's a file. <laughs> Alright, let's save that. Uh, let's put it on our desktop. Okay. And is there is there an evil1gfx? I mean, if we change the file extension, there might be another one. No, that doesn't exist. Okay, so jpeg. Is there an evil 3.jpg? <laughs> no more evils. Okay, sure. Sure, whatever. What about an evil 4.jpg? Evil 4.jpg cannot be displayed because it contains errors. Okay, so there must be a file of evil jpeg, though. Evil 4.jpg. I'm going to save evil 3.jpg to my desktop along with evil 4.jpg, even if it is corrupt. Because I might be able to, like, look through them. Maybe there are secrets in there. Check Evil 5 JPEG. Okay, now that one doesn't exist. Evil 6. Evil 7. Doesn't exist either. What about an Evil 0? No. Okay. I think that's all that we're going to get. 
Evil 2 is kind of our big hint here now, though. Not JPEG, dot GFX. Alright, so, go back to my desktop. Here are the files we just downloaded. Evil 3 dot JPEG. I'm gonna zoom in. Pretty sure there's nothing else here. <laughs> I really don't think I'm gonna find anything. A part of investigation in Evil 4. Windows View can Windows Photo Viewer can't open this picture because it's corrupt. Okay, great. Can this thing be open with Windows View Photo Viewer? Bring it up here. I'll just drag it in. And no. It does not open. Okay. I want to see what's in Evil. The evil 2gfx I'm gonna put it in uh, open it with sublime text sublime text 2 ah oh, crap that is not an easily readable text file this looks like like some weird format Probably bytes or something. I'll, I'll look through it. Bytes. So, let's create a Python script. Um, 12.py is what we're working with right now? Yeah. So, gfx equals open evil2.gfx. GFX. Let's just print gfx.read and gfx.close. Run this. Decode error, output not UTF-8. That's fantastic. So, normally if you're opening a file in Python, the open, like, function will open the file for reading. By default, it has, like, a mode of R for reading. But if we're trying to read through, like, each individual byte, um, you can add a B for binary, for binary reading to look through each individual byte. Um... So, I think I'm going to end up doing that, because if it's this, if this file is like full of all this kinds of data, we're gonna, we can only look through it, not as plain text, obviously, because that's just not going to work for us, but we have to look through it as bytes. So now if I try this, I can do for byte in gfx.read, print byte. Okay, now we get all bunch of this stuff, but we can't look through this. So, um, if you want to get, like, the value of bytes, I think you pass it to int. Int. No. Inval literal for int with base 10. This thing. Okay, no, sorry, I'm getting confused. It should be, um, ord. Ord is the function that should be converting them. Now we can run this. Whoa! Okay. It's a lot of stuff, and great, it's all just numbers. I don't know what to do with, like, any of this stuff. Let's go through it. I want to try and find a pattern it looks, cause it looks like there might be one with like these zeros here. You can see him, like, uh, oh crap, hang on. <laughs> Sorry. These like three sets of zeros and another three sets of zeros. This is at the very bottom of the output though. Oh, and like here they have them in fours. But if I scroll all the way back up to the top, there isn't that pattern. Like, all the numbers are different. It's a different byte or some different representation or something. Looks like 255 here. There's another 255 here. That's a separation of 3. Same kind of thing with 224 or right here. Separation of 3. Another 224. But it looks like there was stuff down at the bottom. I'm going to scroll back down to that. I think I might be able to do a little bit better investigation down there, because these zeros really, like, prove to me, 
okay, that there is some separation. And it does, like, I see them in fours here, the four zeros, and then another number, and then four zeros, and then another number. And if I keep scrolling, I keep scrolling up, and I see, like, tons more of these. Do you see them too? Whoa, okay, that's a lot of zeros. But look, there's like one, two, three, four. This would be where the other number would be. And then there's one, two, three, four again. So this, th this zero, the one that's separating the others, must be just another value of, okay, see, now it's 38 and, like, and 43. And it's just these four zeros that are being separated. But those other places would have had values way up here. So it's got to be some kind of data. It's not plain text, obviously, but... Mm -hmm. If we want this data, we want to, like, look through it. we got to be able to index it, because, right, you see how these other, like, separated by four values? That means there are other... I'm thinking that there's like they're like separate pieces of data. So what I'll do is we'll say gfx equals dot read, and then we'll do for byte in I'll change this to b for b in length of for so b in range of length of gfx because now we're reading through it with an index, so we can do ORD GFX B. We'll have the same output, but now we're working with numbers, and it has no attribute close, so GFX can equal uh, file can equal this file handle. And then GFX can equal file handle dot read. How about that? So file handles will close. So we run this, and we can see all of these, like, separation with these zeros in either pairs of three, or later on, pairs of four. I guess they're not really pairs if they're... but it's like sets of four. But earlier they had data, so they must have something there. Like at the very top, right? If we've been working with JPEGs, I feel like they're probably going to store something in JPEGs. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go with first three, because these, these separations of three here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say... Let's say images equals addict, because I'm gonna use I'm gonna try and use JPEGs. I'm gonna try and put the data in JPEGs, and what I'm gonna do is for I in range four, because if we want three, and we're doing like one, two, three, uh, four, because if they're being separated by three is that means I know there's there's four here. But that doesn't make sense, because if we got one, two, three hang on. This is so hard to think about. For range and four image got caps lock, what the fuck? <laughs> images images I can equal we need the image module. Import image capital I image dot new RGB form uh, and size would be like 640 by 480 or something like that. wait a second we can't put pixels so the image because we're reading we're reading pure data we're reading like the bytes out of GFX out of this GFX like file so image we're not going to need we're going to have to do this with 
the same Python open file buffer. So image plus string i dot jpeg so it's indexed with the like proper number right and we'll have to write to it and b because we want binary here so now at the very end I'll do for i in range 4 images i dot close so now if I run this all of my uh I'll show you. These four images, 0, 1, 2, and 3, have been created. So that works fine for us. And what I want to do... One more time, see the output. 0, 0, 0. So 3 being separated, which means there might be 4. But it looks like... If it were to start at these zeros, look, there are two more, at the very, even at the very end here. So, one, two, three, four, and then five. Looks like I'd have to go through five of them. So, I'm just going to set a variable for this number. It's going to equal five for range in number. Do the same thing down here when we close them for range in number. Run this. Now I've got four images that I'm working with. Oh, hang on, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Just, I just want to show you these, these images. Four images that we've got. Sorry, five images, but it goes up to four because of the computer counting. Remove. Da, 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 da. And what I'll try and do is write to each of the images. So for I in range number I'll do images i dot write, and we're going to get some data out of GFX. We're not going to use ORD in this case because we want the actual byte, we want the actual data. So I'll comment this out. I write GFX b for the byte that we're looking at plus i. So this means that for every five ones that we're looking at, it'll get all five of those in separate ones, I think. <laughs> uh, and, and if we're counting like that by the fours or by the fives, we have to step by that number. So, number. Now when I do this, M is not defined. What? Oh, fuck. What? <laughs> M. Run. Pff, okay. Oh, I got something. I got something, guys. I got something. Let me show you. Let me show you. Ah. Here we go. Image 0, image 1, image 2, image 3, image 4. It looked like they have been filled with something. Dis. Pro. Port. Uh, what is that? What is that? I hope. I hope. I. Image 4 is itty, <laughs> I, but that's crossed out. This, this pro, this pro, this professional, this port, itty. This pro porty. I don't know what this image three is. Ion, ion all, ional, ional, disproportion, ion t. Disproportionality. Hey, disproportionality. Why is ity crossed out? Oh. I'm just gonna try it. Go to our web page. Disproportionality. Dot. HTML. I was almost gonna write dot jpeg. Is there a dot jpeg? No. Dot html. Disproportion. Fuck. Okay. Um, ITY is crossed out, so maybe, maybe it's just disproportional. I'm trying to get back to the web page. Disproportional. Oh, oh, 
We got it! Sweet! Holy crap, that took forever, and I, st <laughs> I still don't even really know what <laughs> what my code is doing. But, I mean, we got there. Challenge number 13, baby! Look at that! Alright, so... What I am to understand is that GFX is raw data of probably a JPEG file, because if all of these other images that we're creating are JPEGs, and it's like it's like containing them inside it with different different bytes at an index of five, right? And the only way that we like figured that out, I'm just gonna go back to our original for loop for b in range of the length of GFX. The only way we kind of noticed that was by print GFX B. Ord. We have to pass it to Ord, because Ord is what kind of showed us like actual values that we can look at and kind of investigate. And like there are these patterns of four zeros separating other numbers. So, okay. Those this must be a separation for something, and it also must show that because at the beginning of these data of this data, there was stuff there, right? Like these aren't zeros. This is one three seven and seventy one and one three seven again. So I don't know. Maybe there. I we figured out or at least took a guess that these were different files, different pieces of data that will correspond to some other thing, which I mean JPEG files work. And JPEG files is what we've been working with this entire time. Evil 3, Evil 4, and all the other images and the other challenges. So, reading by bytes, and, re and writing by bytes, and doing them in f five different images, images 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, that's kind of what we built here. And, uh, let me, I'll, run it, I'll run it with our correct loop. get our images back for us. Disproportionality. Except it's just disproportional. I don't know what's up with image 3, though. <laughs> I don't know why it's, like, cut in half. Whatever. <laughs> um, well, I mean, dude, here we are. Ch challenge number 13. We did it. Alright. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean... I'm a little speechless, but it works. Like we got it. Thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, maybe like the video, maybe leave me a comment, maybe subscribe. It's up to you. See you soon.